In this superhero simulation, we're going to look at a fluid flow analysis around the Batmobile using Autodesk CFD. Look at all those cool Batmobiles over time. I guarantee the one that we simulate is not nearly as cool as those ones. As always, feel free to reach out to me at james.herzing at autodesk.com. Follow me on Twitter, which you never do, at Mr. Simulation Rocks, or follow me at ADSK Simulation. So what makes the Batmobile so sweet? Well, there's a lot of cool things about it. Ceramic composite exterior, 1500 horsepower gas turbine engine, adhesive trap foam, foam gun, because who doesn't need a foam gun? The barrier cutters, all sorts of cool stuff that you can see on this picture. We had to make some simplifications, so not all of this is included in our simulation. So the design and simulation process, all about the CSA. So what's CSA? You're about to find out. Create your design, step one. Use Inventor, Fusion, or whatever you'd like. S, simplify your design. SimStudio Tools is perfect for this. Not only can you simplify your design, but you can also do great things like create the external air around it so that you can simulate airflow. And then A, analyze your design. Drop it into Autodesk CFD with one click and analyze away. So there it is, CSA. It's not really a thing, but I just made it one because that's what I do. All right, let's go into Sim Studio Tools to start and take a look. Here we are in Sim Studio Tools, and we're going to start by creating an external air box around our model. So I know the Batmobile looks a little bit more like a Pinewood Derby car at the moment, but that's okay. Under Create, we choose to create a fluid volume. Just click on the Batmobile body, and then choose what type of creation you want. Our volume's external, so the air going around it. We're going to keep it a box shape, and then just click that arrow and drag to increase the size of the air around the car. When you click OK, now you have two bodies, the car and then the air around it, which would create a cavity where the car exists. So now just click on SimCFD and launch it. Provide a study name, design name, and scenario. So let's call it Batmobile and choose to launch. And now we're ready to start defining things. We're going to start with our material. So we're going to pick that box. If we right click and edit, we can go ahead and just click apply since it's already defined as a fluid and air. Next, we can find the car so it doesn't show up, but if we hide the air, we can now see the solid car. Right click and edit, and this time let's change the type from fluid to solid, and we're going to just leave it as steel and click apply. So let's show that air again now that we know where the front of the car is. And now we're going to add boundary conditions to our model. So let's go ahead and click on boundary conditions, and then select that front surface. And when we do that, we can add a velocity. Let's use some sort of units that are useful, like miles per hour. Let's type in 80, because you know Batman's always in a hurry. You never see him slowing, he's never at a stop sign, he's just always cruising around really fast. Uh, let's give the air somewhere to go, so on the back, let's edit that and apply a pressure, so it knows what way the air is moving, apply. And with that, we pretty much have everything set up. So the simulation is just that simple. Click Solve, and Solve again, and you're off, meshing and getting results. So here we are in the results, and if you don't remember how to get these great flow lines, you can check out our tip on this, where we used the Batarang to show you how to apply these flow lines to your results. But a flow analysis is just that simple, and that's all we have for today. Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile lost a wheel and Joker got away. Hey, jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg.